Hey guys, and welcome to a new video on this Neural Networks and Deep Learning tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about the Inception Net uh, Neural Network architecture. So in this video here, we're going to talk about the Inception module, and then we're going to talk about the different kind of versions we have of the Inception Neural Network. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here, and you can come chat with us about Neural Networks, Deep Learning, Computer Vision, and so on. And you can also become a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel with a small amount of fee, and everything will go to like create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So the third thing we're going to talk about here is the Inception version one module, and then we're going to talk about like what is the idea behind the Inception uh, neural network. So the idea behind the Inception neural network, and in this previous video we talked about the ResNet architecture. So the ResNet architecture was about going deeper in the neural networks when we're stacking layers on top of each other. Like in the standard convolutional layers, when we just stack them on top of each other, we just keep adding complexity, and our neural network will just be so complex that we can't really train on, on a data set if we just keep stacking layers on top of each other. And the idea behind the ResNet architecture was that we're able to go deeper in our neural network without adding that much complexity. So InceptionNet is actually like about going wider instead of going deeper, which we which was the idea behind the ResNet. So in the exception that here, we're actually like going wider in each of the individual layers uh, in our modules and in, in our neural networks. So here is a is a really an naive example of the Inception one uh, version one module here, where we have a previous layer here, where we have an input from the previous layer to to this Inception module here in the version one, and then we actually like have different kind of uh, transformations or different kind of operations that we do for this for that specific layer. So in previous videos where we talk about this ResNet or the traditional convolutional layers, then we only do one operation per layer. So we either do like a three by three convolution or a five by five convolution or a max pooling layer. Then we then we only do one specific operation or transformation for that convolutional layer. But in deception here and the idea behind the exception is that we actually like go wider uh, per layer in our neural network. So we actually like do more or like a couple of transformations per layer with the inception module and in, in the inception one module here in the Neve version, we just have a layer here that we have actually like do four different kind of transformations on. So we both do a one by one convolution, a three by three convolution, five by five, five convolution, and here the last operation or transformation is the three by three max pooling here as well. And then we actually like do the transformation for all of these different kind of operations. Then we concatenate all of the results from those. And then we actually like have this filter uh, concatenation here in our inception module. And then all the different kind of transformations that we have now uh, concatenated, they will now, now be fed further to the next inception module and then it will do like a number of operations again uh, and, and actually like do the operations wider because we want to have this uh, operation here or like these uh, like this wide widening uh, operations here in our layer because we don't really know um, what is the best operation or what is the best transformation to do uh, layer by layer. So we can actually like, have multiple operations or transformations layer by layer. So we can actually choose what is the best transformation or like what extracts the most useful information in this layer here from our neural network or like from our images that we pass through our neural network. So now we actually like, have more transformations that we can choose from and actually like, get the most useful and most exact and important information from each of the individual layers by having these uh, different kind of uh, transformations that we're then concatenating. We're choosing the best one and then we're actually like doing that uh, over and over again when we're stacking these inception modules here on top of each other. So we also have an optimized version here of the Inception version one module where we can actually like reduce some of the complexity because if we just have four different kind of uh, transformations that we're, that we're using uh, per layer, then we actually like add complexity. So we actually like add uh, a, a very much computational cost when we're just like adding, adding these different kind of operations here layer by layer. So we can do something to actually like optimize this Inception here and reduce, uh, reduce the dimensions of the, of like the inputs that we actually like, get from the previous layers. So to actually like reduce the uh, like the dimensions here, we introduce these one by one convolutions before we're doing like these heavy uh, convolution operators here, like three by three or five by five, and even seven by seven convolution op uh, operations, which is really uh, computational heavy. So before we're doing that, we can actually like do these one by one convolutions before we're passing it to the three by three convolutions or five by five convolutions, as we can see here on this figure. And this just uh, reduces the dimensions of our inputs uh, to the neural network before we're doing these heavy uh, computation 
uh, convolutions here, like three by three and five by five. So we can actually like have this inception version one module here optimized as we just talked about on the previous slide. So we can actually like both reduce uh, the complexity of our model and also the computational cost by training our neural network. So our neural networks are now actually like training faster and it actually like just optimizes the training process so we can learn faster and we can learn better uh, when we're using this inception module here and not adding that much complexity or like computational cost with having these different kind of like uh, or like four different kind of operations or transformations layer by layer in our neural network in these inception modules so after the version one of the inception module they were actually like just thinking and they're always trying to improve this inception modules here and trying to try out new different kind of information or like transformations how can they how can they improve like a little bit in the different kind of layers how they're stacking the layers what transformations they can do so in the inception version two module here uh, they thought about like how can i actually like uh, reduce the complexity of these like five by five convolutions and to actually like reduce the uh, like the complexity of the five by five convolutions uh, they just tried out with this uh, by, by having three two uh, three by three layers instead so it is actually like the same as doing uh, five times uh, five five by five convolutions as doing uh, two two times three by three convolutions and we actually like reduce the dimensions or like the, the complexity um, a lot by using these three by three kernels instead of the five uh, five by five kernel. So the only difference here is to the left here on the left image here is that we can actually see here to the left we're first having the, the dimension reduction here by having this one by one convolution then we have two uh two uh two three by three convolution followed by each other here which is actually like the, the five by five convolution but we have now reduced it to reduce the complexity and the computational cost uh, when training our neural networks here or else it is just just the same here as in the previous slides in the version one so this was just one improvement for the inception version two over the inception version one where we just like try to try out different kind of convolutions to find a more optimal way of having these larger convolutional blocks in our neural network and another improvement they found up here with the inception version one or like the inception version two module here was that we can actually like uh, split up these uh, three by three convolutions here into convolutions where we first take a one by three convolution and then we also have a three by uh, three by one convolution and then at the end we can actually like concatenate those and it will it will further reduce uh, the complexity of our neural network or the uh, computational cost by having these uh, um, reduced uh, convolutions here. So instead of doing a one uh, like a three by three, we do a one by three and then a three by one, and then we can concatenate that, and that actually reduces the computational cost with up to over thirty percent um, in our neural network for the bigger or like the larger kernels. In our neural network so this was a huge improvement to the inception module uh, that we can now do these different kind of like um, bigger operations or like the bigger convolutional uh, kernels on our neural network without really or like actually re reducing the computational cost uh, by a lot so we can train neural networks uh, on larger convolutional kernels so then we have the inception version 3 here which is just kind of an optimization of version 2 so we kind of have the same uh, architecture where we have these uh, where we have these convolutional uh, layers here, which is factored out to three by three, and then the three by three convolution uh, is actually like factored out to one by three and a three by one, and then we can concatenate that all at the end of the of our inception module. But the version three here is actually like it just uses some different kind of optimization things uh, compared to the version two. So it also uses the RMS propagate uh, prop uh, optimizer here. And we also have a, a seven by seven convolutional uh, transformation or operation that is factored that is factored out to reduce the dimensions as we did with the five uh, five times fives convolution. It uses batch normalization in the um, auxiliary uh, classifiers. So we're going to talk about that when we're going to talk about the Inception version four in a, in another video because we need to dive uh, more and and deep into the Inception four because it introduces some other different kind of um, in inception blocks and they actually like have different kind of inception blocks inside of the version four inception neural network. It also uses something called labeling smoothing, which is just some kind of regularization component or technique to prevent overfitting. Um, so we actually like just uh, have these different kind of labels and it does something to the loss function. So it actually like regularizes uh, the neural network to prevent overfitting when we're training this inception version three neural network here.
So the last thing we're going to talk about in this video here is the inception version one module. And this is just some kind of introduction to another video that I'm going to do, where we're going to dive more deep into the inception uh, for version four modules here, because in version four, we actually have different kind of modules. So we have an A, B and a C module and all of these different kind of modules here does individual and different things. And then we just stack them uh, on top of each other. And then we just like have this uh, in neural network architecture that we can see over here to the right. So we have an input, then we have some stem here where like uh, we actually like have modifications to the stem block. So the idea behind the, the stem block is just the initial operations before we actually like passing it through our inception blocks. So we actually like have some operations and some layers before we have actually like have our inception blocks. So that could be some different kind of like batch normalization, convolutional layers before we actually like going into our inception, uh, our inception modules or like our inception layers in our inception neural network. So in the inception version four here, we have three main in inception modules. So we have this uh, inception version uh, module A, B, and C, and they do different kind of operations, which I'm going to dive deep more into uh, in another video. So we actually like we are going to look at each uh, each of the individual uh, main inception modules here in version four, and it also uses something called re reduction blocks. So instead of just having reduction inside of the different kind of like uh, inception modules as we saw in version uh, two and three, we will actually have a whole reduction blocks here in in, in like in between the different kind of inception modules here, like the A, B, and C modules. So we're going to dive deep more into that, as I already mentioned in another video, because this is a more complex neural network, but it's also really uh, efficient. And like we can do a lot of different kinds of operations with, with a really efficient neural network. We can add complexity without really adding that much um, in the computational cost. We also have this inception ResNet architecture where we combine what we what we saw in the last video, where we have this ResNet architecture where we are about going deeper, stacking layers on top of each other without re, uh, like act, act, like adding that much uh, time complexity regarding like computational cost. And then we also have this in inception that we went over in this video here, where we act like going wider layer by layer. The ResNet architecture we're going deeper layer by layer, and then we can actually like combine those and get the different kind of like advantages from both of these um, these neural network architectures. So that's pretty much it for this video here, guys. We've been over the, the different kind of inception versions uh, of the modules where we're just improving it over time. So the new, newer versions, is just improvement over the previous ones. And we've been over like the different kind of like factorizations of the convolutional uh, kernels inside of uh, inside of the modules here with, for example, five by five and, 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 and seven by seven and how we can reduce the computational cost and the complexity uh, by just reducing or like splitting those into like smaller convolutional kernels. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more than feature because this really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently also doing a computer vision tutorial where we're talking about different kind of image proce processing techniques, uh, camera calibration, stereo vision to uh, try to estimate depth um, in the image. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll just see you next video, guys. Bye for now.